Joseph is losing his mobility. He lost his wife after she lost her battle with the bottle back in August. Randy's losing his apartment. He doesn't know it yet, but he's losing his job too. Carrie's losing about 16 hours a day between blacking out and passing out, losing track of who she takes home on any given night. She's long lost her self-respect. Callie is losing her artistic ambition as she loses her patience with that stupid rundown fucking job of hers. Jamie is losing hope that she'll find love. Her eye-batting bar hustle is uh, losing its effect as her breasts lose their elasticity. This is the Losers Club. And me? What am I losing? I don't know, man. All I know is I am a card-carrying member. Did I ever suspect I'd end up here? Yeah, I guess I kind of always knew. Oddly enough, I never felt like a loser when I was a kid. I mean, I most certainly was one, but I was armed with enough self-righteous indignation to keep that kind of introspection at bay till my early 20s when the 12 steps lost me my ability to avoid hard truths about myself. Even when I spun out on drugs, I didn't feel like a loser. I, I was sure those losers running the rehab just didn't know how to have a good time. The truth didn't really hit me until about 26. One day my life in Brooklyn was falling apart. I took inventory and realized my list of failures included, but was not limited to, marriage, sobriety, another long-term relationship, bankruptcy, at least two careers, and it hit me. Maybe the upper middle class Republican I'd been fucking for the previous year was <laughs> right when he joked I was from the wrong side of the tracks. The only liberal thing about him was how he assigned the loser label to anyone not on the fast track to homeownership, marriage, and paid vacation time. It was becoming clearer and clearer that that was me. I was a fucking loser. The realization, the self-doubt and self-loathing in its wake caused a depression that ended the relationship. After he kicked me out, I lived for weeks at a time on nothing but nicotine, cocaine, and my own snot. I fucked strangers with reckless abandon. I wanted to die, but I knew I wasn't accomplished enough to join the 27 Club. You gotta finish your book first, I tell myself, lying on the floor of my dingy Chinatown apartment, daydreaming about throwing myself out the window. The Losers Club saved me. One of its more prominent members, who I lovingly referred to as my personal Bukowski, used his caustic wit and big old dick to make me switch dives. He plucked me out of that den of iniquity on Avenue A and dusted me off a seat at Grassroots Tavern so he could keep a close eye on me while pouring him heavy for the people I'd come to regard as my fellows. I met people there who made me laugh again, who made me feel at home again and most importantly, made me write again. I met the people who took care of me when I lost battles big and small, including when we all lost him. So that's what it was like, and that's what happened. So what's it like now? I'm mostly at peace with being a loser, I guess. It's unlikely to change. I'm sticking around to repay what the club has given me, and, of course, to watch the shit show. Occasionally, we make more than just mistakes, but if I may offer a piece of advice, it's best not to get your hopes up. Just sit down, order a drink, settle in, and make note of the most important tenet of the Losers Club. Never lose your sense of humor. Woohoo!